All right, you guys know that Taco Mint is my favorite Piston Cup sponsor of all time. Greg Canyonman here is my favorite Piston Cup racer of all time. That includes Cars 3 Stock Cars, Cars 3 Next Gens, Cars 3 Retro Racers. I mean, look at him. He's good enough to eat. He looks like a gingerbread house, and I love gingerbread. Oh, my God, so good. I love frosting. Try and stay away. Try and be healthy, but, man, it looks good. I kind of live vicariously through Greg Canyon Man in terms of the sweets. But yeah, up until 2019, Greg Candy Man was the only taco mint entity Mattel had ever produced. In 2019, they did squeak out a pity Bryn Imagier, who is awesome, not quite color accurate. And also, Taco Man doesn't have a team in Cars 1. In fact, Pixar didn't animate about a little less than half of the Piston Cup pit crews. They just made the pit row about like 17, 18, 19 teams, I believe it was, and just completely left out the others. And no one really knows, no one really caught on until like 2010 when they're like, wait, wait, someone's not right here. And so, yeah, that's actually why they don't have pities or crew members for a lot of the Piston Cup sponsors. In fact, they didn't do anything that didn't appear in the movies until Brynn Imager and also with, I think, the Fiber Fuel Pity, Megan Shifter as well. So interesting stuff there. But Mattel did intend to release a Taco Mint Crew Chief in late 2019. There's a whole stock image as I'll put on the screen there and everything, they fully intended to do it. They intended to do actually a Fiber Fuel Crew Chief and a Transberry Juice Crew Chief to match the pities they had just released that year. And all of them got completely wiped from the face of the earth. Very, very disappointing because it would have been a great release even if didn't appear in the movie. And so you guys know my answer to that. Whenever something, you know, Mattel fails at or comes up short, turn to customizers because they could do anything. Jim Scavenger pumped out this beauty recently and I've been waiting to review him actually for a while. Members of my channel, like if you guys are, you know, you pay the $1.99 a month to be a member, get that exclusive content, the perks and whatnot. You guys know that this video has been planned for several months now. And I just finally got around to doing it. There's also, you know, we'll maybe talk about a little later why I wanted to celebrate Taco Mint here today. But you guys know I'm a huge fan. I mean, look at all these customs. Custom pickup truck, custom hauler, custom next-gen tractor, next-gen chief, next-gen pity, stock car craziness. So, yeah, guys, let's just dive right on in. I think this is one of the best customs Jim has done in a while. And obviously, you know, I praise him up and down. I love all the stuff he puts out. But this just looks so accurate to the stock image. I think, like, the headset might be flipped. Like, the mic might be on the other side. But I really don't care about that at all. It wasn't released anyways. That's just a stock image. So, the real thing might have been flipped as well. But just the expression's great. Thankfully, there was a Ben Dordan that we could, you know, use to make this custom. I believe, yep, this is made in Thailand, Ben Dordan here. So super easy to take a crew chief that was already in the same exact model. This, you know, very interesting smaller pickup truck model, kind of almost like an El Camino, but modern. That, you know, the bumper save chief, EZL chief, and then, yeah, the bumper save chief is Ben Dordan. So you just, you know, took him, 2020 release, and bam, made this guy. So yeah, love the image here on the hood. Nice little, you know, gum drop rectangle with the 101 and candy canes there taken right from Greg himself here. You could see that's kind of the design going on all of his panels here, hood, roof, kind of just like gum drops in a rectangle, the mini ones sparsed inside of it, and then the 101. So that looks great. This is a plastic bumper here. I love these silver wheels that he did for him as well. Like almost chrome. They look so good. N23A, by the way, that's from Ben Dordan, of course. So the 23rd week of 2020 is when he was made. I remember he was in case L of that year. And just a nice kind of creamy white tone on him with the 101 there on the side. Looks really good. It's got like a little bit of a black outline instead of the drop shadow that... Greg here has, but it still looks good to me. Like, again, I don't really care about minutia as such. I mean, he just looks so clean. I love him. I love the silver wheels. And then his license plate is mint. Perfect. 
I'm sure that's already taken. Like if you tried to get that license plate, that is already taken. It's funny. I got to pick my license plate last year when I got a new car and I was just racking my brain. I literally made a whole list of possibilities because I wanted it to be like short and sweet, but a lot of that stuff's already taken. So I ended up doing something in Spanish because not as much is taken in another language and I am a major in Spanish. So that was pretty cool. I'll let you guys guess. Maybe one day I'll do a little video on my IRL car. Some of you guys know what it is, which let me know if you do actually. Take a guess. But yeah, really cool. I love the black on the bed there as well. Looks good. Let's actually show Ben Dordan here. You know what? Yeah, I really should have shown, should have taken Ben Dordan out. The donor, he donated his life for this custom here. Unfortunately, my door is jammed, but we are going to finagle it in here anyways. Let's go. All right. So yeah, I love the fact that Jim Scavenger was able to change the expression to make it look like the stock image for this because it is completely different in the eyes than Ben Dordan. And then, yeah, of course, the wheels had to be changed. The bed had to be painted. So a lot of changes here. License plate too, of course. Very... Very cool. One of my favorite customs from him. Maybe it's not his best work or anything, but just in terms of accuracy and obviously it hits home being Taco Mint. So let's see how the whole team here from Cars 1 stacks up. Obviously they do exist even if they didn't appear in the movie. But yeah, Bryn's hat, like this top color is probably a little bit bright, like a little too orangey, too yellowish. It should be more brown. But then again, I think Taco Mint, like Greg Candyman himself, is a little bit too dark, too brown. Like there's a happy medium here. And it's funny, like Mattel kind of knows it too. Hold on, I'll show you guys this first. But like there is the Greg Candyman artwork from his 2023 release. And he is, you know, in Bryn's fairness. I mean, that color matches Bryn more than the actual Greg Candyman release. Like it's almost comical how different it is. And it's honestly, yeah, it really does not reflect great upon Mattel. How different those are there but it is cool that you got released this year but the reason why I say they kind of know it too deep down secretly let me find a good example here I know there's a good example somewhere I know there's like a card that shows him on the back right guys oh guys help me out what card would show him on there it is I got one all right so yeah see here there's like the Greg Candyman stock image and it is way brighter than how he actually ended up getting released. Like it shows like a very light orange and kind of made us think that they were going to do a variant and color correct him this year, but nope. Now, thank you, Cruz and McQueen for helping me out in a pinch there. All right. So yeah, still though, I think he looks great. Like especially these two because the crew chief, by the way, who were naming Gavin Gumdrop. Let me know if you have a better name than that, by the way. That's Trunk Fresh Green's name. So if you don't like it, hate on him. Like go over to his channel, check out his video, and then like leave a hatred comment, you know, like you guys sometimes would do anyways. I'm just kidding. It's funny though. Sometimes people just leave like the most vitriol filled comments ever. It's like, dude, touch grass. Like go outside, man. But anyways, yeah, like some what the hell type reads out there. Yeah, this team looks good together, especially like these two look great. And then these two look great together because the crew chief is such, you know, a white tone that they're, you know, it doesn't take a side. Like it doesn't choose to be the brighter orange or the brown, you know, it doesn't have any of that. So that's why it looks good with both. And yeah, still a nice looking team. The Jim Scavenger custom hauler that I reviewed a while ago, I think I did, maybe I didn't actually, looks really cool as well and definitely matches I mean, again, that's even a darker brown. This is like a poop brown right here. So it doesn't even really match Greg. But so yeah, lots of different tones going on here. All in all, though, really good team. And I'm glad that I was able to, you know, build out a team that Mattel neglected. And kind of understandably so. I mean, literally Pixar and Disney did not put them into the movie. The hauler was there, but the team itself was not. And then here's just that factory custom Pickup truck that they did in like 2015. This is really old at this point, but still a nice piece to the collection. It matches Greg perfectly. So before then, this is a good crew chief, I'd say. 
if you wanted to slap a headset on him. I mean, look at these two. They could duel it out. Got completely different decals. He's got the Taco Min all spelled out there. Gavin just has the 101s. Now, yeah, who's the better crew chief? <laughs> this guy's a little bit buffer. I don't know. I'd be a little worried if I was Gavin. I mean, he's a big dude over there. And then, yeah, I do want to show you guys the next-gen team here. Of course, you have Noel Spiller from Jim Scavenger as well. All these customs are from Jim Scavenger. Who am I kidding? This is the one he collaborated with uh, Thomas Hatfield on for the Taco Mint design. And he really expanded off of that, taking full advantage. He's got a tractor here as well, which looks awesome. I reviewed this. And then you have the team itself, who I also reviewed. They look great. A little pity. And this is one that I have yet to review, but I will be soon. The stock car for Cars 3, Imaginary. Obviously, Taco Mint was not in the third movie, but... We can imagine that's what these two are. They are imaginations. Even though, of course, Mattel did do the NASCAR line that did do, that was a lot of did do's there. They did complete, they made next gens for all the missing sponsors from Cars 3, except Taco Mint. They did Hostile, Takeover Bang, Shifty Drug, Fiber Fuel, Sidewall Shine, Retread, etc 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 and they neglected taco mint for i have no idea freaking why really stinks maybe that he was canceled but anyways yeah guys thanks for watching as per usual i appreciate the support check out get me collectibles in the description below if you need anything cars related like if you need greg candy man he's got one i am sure he's got pretty much everything he probably even has a Bryn image air Although she is a little bit rarer these days, but if he does have her, it's probably the best deal on the internet. So check out those links and email in the description below. Let me know who's your favorite Taco Mint team member, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye now. And yeah, there is a very distinct reason why I wanted to get this video out. Wink, wink, wink.